That I don't feel it all. La Liga. Atletico Madrid, nil. Real Madrid, one. Celta de Vigo, one. Getafe, three. Levante, one. Villarreal, two. Sevilla, one. Barcelona, one. Las Palmas, nil. Ibar, two. On this issue, you'll recognize the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. Alan Smith, alongside me, Martin Tyler, and will be your commentary team today. Real Madrid, I think they're a good side, you know. They played very well in that away victory against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, nice and tight at the back in the 1-0 win. Clean sheets are great, and uh, the strikers can score. I think they will win today again. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Pepe starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre-backs. Luka Modric starts with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Let's take a look at the Levante lineup. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Bale! The score! Up for grabs here. Great goal! Real Madrid, 
Madrid. Oh, the keeper, quite rightly, is disgusted with his defenders because they've just not helped him out there. Real Madrid have the lead. interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one they've lost the ball Morales looking at the best defense in the division at the moment in Real Madrid well, some people call this side boring, but not for me, because uh, they just love their clean sheets, don't they? Rossi. Some options now for the pass. Morales. He's going to cross it. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Well, he's lost the ball here. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well, excellent. Gareth Bale. Nice bit of footwork. This could be a chance. Shut up! It's a goal for Real Madrid. And the keeper's got no chance because he's hit it so hard to his right. Just widen the... Margin here to 2 0. Passing in front of the opposition, but they're still keeping the ball. That's important. Foul by Modric. He strikes it. We well, could be it. Close. Be a throw. Marcelo. It's a quick break. Real Madrid given the throw here. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. And it takes a nick off the player out for a throw. Marcelo. This could be it. Shots on here. He's kept it out. It's out of danger there with that clearance. Morales. He's got that 
through clever reading of the game, intercepting and getting possession back for his team. Successful tackle. McAnally right on the button, tapping elsewhere. It's a goal for the home team. 42 minutes played. 1-0. Oh, so many thanks. Giuseppe Rossi! Tried to keep it down, but couldn't. He's cut out the pass. Intercepting, if you like. And now can go on the attack, maybe. This is how they love to play on the break. Off the post! Well, he has cleared the danger. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Morales. Half time now, and 2-0 is the score at the break. Very good first half, thoroughly enjoyable, and Real Madrid leading as we start the second half. Carvajal. Of all the decisions that are difficult to get right on a regular basis, offside, probably right up there, isn't it, Alan? Right here? Yeah, when the defence is pushing up and the player's rushing through, it's such a difficult decision, but it's a good one in this case. All La Liga action to come on EA Sports, and it will involve the home side. It's the next fixture in the league. Cross. Good tackle. And the away team want to make a change. What do you think about Levante's next game? They've got Valencia in the next match in La Liga. I think it'll be a tough one for them. We have a substitution coming up, and it's coming up for Real Madrid. Space for the shot, and that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Oh, no wonder he's wheeling away in a super celebration. To get a hat-trick is a fantastic experience, and he's just done that. Well, having scored two, he was just so full of confidence, and he never looked like missing that chance. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Trying to keep the ball. Not anymore. But if you look at the coaching manual... You don't defend like that. He's got caught too square to his man there, Paul. Time for Real Madrid to just tinker with the team a bit with a substitution. He's got the ball back. Well, the defender. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. It's 
He's cut out that pass. It wasn't an accident. He read the mind of the opponent. Modric. Real Madrid given the throw here. Carvajal. Not a good challenge by the defender. He's going to try it. This might be dangerous from the corner. Well, they're cheering them across the finishing line, aren't they? Job almost done by the players. Yeah, almost done. They can't afford to relax, but these fans are, are pretty confident. Stop that. Well, two keepers wouldn't have got to it. I have to say, it's so one sided today, but all credit to the team for uh, racking up the goals. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've not uh, taken it easily at all they've given respect to their opponents but they've shown the class too here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception Rodriguez read the play well to intercept and here's the shot but he's had a go well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. La Liga, Getafe 1, Las Palmas 2, Real Madrid 6, Levante 0, Ibar 2, Sevilla 1. Villa Real 2, Celta de Vigo 0. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Real Madrid with 22 points. In second, the former leaders, Sevilla with 19 points. In third, rising up the table are Barcelona with 18 points. In fourth, climbing the table are Villa Real with 17 points. In fifth and falling are Valencia with 17 points. In sixth, Real Sociedad with... In seventh, Getafe with 12 points. In eighth, Atletico Madrid with 11 points. Bottom of the table, moving down, are Rayo Vallecano with four points. And then reading up the table, second... talk is over now the game is underway and Barcelona have started it this is the Real Madrid lineup 
Pepe starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre-backs. Isco starts. He was man of the match in the last game. And they just go with the one striker up front. Three changes for Barcelona. Claudio Bravo starts in goal. Javier Mascherano plays with Jared Piquet in central defence. Sergio Roberto starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. In attack, Luis Suarez starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Break maybe from Barcelona. Is there any other fixture, Alan, that can create such anticipation as uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Spain's Clasico? Well, it's got a, a magical ring to it. Sometimes these contests have descended into petty spats, but sometimes you're just treated to fantastic football. A return ball. Able to make a good interception. Luis Suarez. Saw it coming. Cut it out, good work. Do you think the visitors can keep this one going, Alan? Looking for win number five in succession. Well, they almost come here as favourites, don't they, on form? So uh, let's see if they can dominate possession. Carvajal. It was an early foul. And I think it's right for the referee to say, yeah, well, that's a free kick. And, you know, you can't do that. And the keeper clawing at thin air there. He had no chance. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. player alongside the score it's a good side of goal but he skied it Not going into this game for the home side they're in great form aren't they four consecutive wins Not, uh, a chance to make it five in a row yeah they must go out on the pitch there full of confidence the way that they've been playing creating chances taking them very good Score here. He didn't need any power, really, just enough to roll it past the goalkeeper because the placement was so good. I think you've got to be playing with an awful lot of confidence to try that, and he is restarting at 2 0. Cross, good block. They're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. Sergi Roberto. That is a tackle and a half. They've got the ball back, Barcelona. Sergi Roberto. Now Messi. Luis Suarez. And it's behind for the goal kick. Sergio Ramos. Modric. This could be it. Now the shot. A oh, great work by the keeper. Ivan Rakitic, Jordi Alba, he's cut out that pass, it wasn't an accident, he read the mind of the opponent.
Javier Mascherano. That's an easy interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. It's very good. Shot up. Oh, well saved. And that's a fantastic goal. Goal for Real Madrid. Well, that's all about anticipation and just snapping up the rebound. Well, this is the sort of football you associate with Real Madrid. That's a good challenge between the two of them there. Goalkeeper. Foul by Neymar here. Oh, the ref's given a foul here, and it's a bad one. Yellow. No surprise there at all. Tony Cross. Suarez and over the bar it goes. Place to try and hit it now, and that's the third, the hat trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Well, there is a saying that uh, things come in threes. They've come in threes for him. A hat-trick. Not just three goals, but he's played really well. His overall game has been top class today. It's turning him this 4-0. Sergi Roberto. Lionel Messi. And here's the shot off the post. Neymar. He could cross it now. The shot's on. Well, sometimes we don't give it. A real sense of surprise here as the half-time whistle goes.
Well, there's a lot of talk about this lad, isn't it? And you can see why it's such an important part of a team, the attacking side of it. But he does his uh, other midfield jobs as well, but it's the attacking part of the game that's caught the eye today. Yeah, that's uh, a very important player in the modern game, somebody that can play a part defensively, but retains the energy and the ingenuity, really, to make a problem for himself going forward. Neymar. And he claims the cross. It was, well, there's, nothing's ever straightforward for goalkeepers, but he's uh, not been challenged. Well, Barcelona, who normally have uh, a lot of the ball, and are having a lot of the ball here, but it's not winning them this match. No, and unusually for them, they're not being able to create too many chances, and that's been their undoing so far. We have a substitution coming up, and it's coming up for Real Madrid. Pique. Sergio Busquets. Sergio Roberto. Well, we expect better, don't we, from Messi. Ivan Rakitic. Real Madrid given the throw here. Pepe. Well, it's very good positional play, and he's uh, read the situation perfectly with that interception. On EA Sports very soon, our coverage of the La Liga fixture coming up for Real Madrid. They'll be facing Eibar away from home. Yeah, three points at stake. It's a big match for both sides. Sergio Roberto. Marcelo. He might be through. Now the shot. A bit of breathing space. Another save. And now it's a corner. The corner and a poor one well the defending team handled that so easily you expected more out it goes wide to Messi supporting player alongside Chance to cross. He's got a cross to make that interception. He saw it coming. This could be it. He goes for the chip. That's a very good save. He was in the clear. Well, the keeper was hung out to try there, but he responded brilliantly. Sergio Roberto. Rodriguez. Still 20 minutes to go. Gareth Bale. Time for Real Madrid to just tinker with the team a bit with a substitution. Not a turnover in play here with that interception. Barcelona, what about the next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Real Sociedad in the next match in La Liga. And uh, I think they're going to coast home. Cleared away by Mascherano. The throw in for Real Madrid. La Liga. Getafe, one... Rayo Vallecano, 1. Real Madrid, 4.